UNC wants their bigs to grab the ball as soon as it gets out of the net and find the point guard to lead the famous Carolina break. The first option is to find the rim runner for an easy basket. The rim runner's job is to sprint down the court and try to beat his man early. But if not, he can use positioning to find an angle for a post entry. You'll see that Carolina is always trying to enter the post in their break. With Kobe White leading the break this year, you have to stop the ball early in transition. He's looking to attack the rim if you don't pick him up, and even if you do stop the ball, he'll take some tough pull-up jumpers. The other big in the fast break is called the trailer. One thing the trailer can do is go set a ball screen for the point guard. Again, White's looking to score first as a point guard, and this is amazing skill going behind your back to split a ball screen with your weak hand. UNC will set a back screen immediately following the ball screen. Here Elon hedges and doesn't recognize the back screen lob that's about to happen. This back screen is a staple of the Carolina break. You'll see it in various different forms. The wings on the break also run hard and wide for potential throw-ahead opportunities. They can look to feed the rim runner, or in a lot of cases, attack the hoop. Another thing UNC can do is dribble handoff and essentially turn the wing into a point guard. Here Johnson becomes the point and Williams sets the same back screen we saw earlier. Dribble handoff for Williams this time, and May has the versatility to pop for a flare screen three. If the ball gets stalled out on the wing, UNC is looking to reverse to the trailer. The trailer has three main reads when he catches the ball. First, to shoot the open three. Next, he can rip and attack a closeout. And finally, he can enter the ball to the rim runner off of a high-low pass. UNC gets a lot of points off the high-low. If none of those reads are there, the trailer reverses the ball to the weak side wing. Remember, the Tar Heels are always trying to feed the post. So on the reversal, the rim runner can move to the new side of the floor to try to get a post touch. But another option is to keep that strong side block open and either backdoor or slip on the reversal. If an opponent isn't properly jumping to the ball, a quick reversal can lead to a wide open dunk. If nothing winds up happening on the initial reversal, UNC goes back to that back screen lob for the trailer yet again. Opponents are almost always well prepared for this action, and UNC rarely gets a basket off the initial back screen, but it then triggers an immediate big to big cross screen. So let's take a final step back and watch the Carolina break in action. If the play stalls out, Roy Williams' team will flow right into their motion half-court offense. 